Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use delete method with the API. So first question is why we use delete method with the API, and this is the simplest question, and we have a simplest answer also to delete the record from the database with the help of API, right? That's okay. Now what we are going to do in this video. As you can see that we have a small table with some users right and we just plot, plotted this table in the previous video which is video number 51 in this playlist right and uh, if you want to know that how we can just plot this table again then you can watch this video because if I am going to code from the scratch then it will take around 10 minutes and uh, video gonna very lengthy right so for plotting this table you can watch our this video even I will tell you the basics of the code that how it's this code actually work and you can get this code from here also link is given in the description box all right so we will uh, add a delete button with the every row and on click on this delete button the respective result will be deleted right and this uh, result is deleted from the database through API I will show you as you can see that in this API we have the five result and we will just delete some random results and you will find that the results are deleted from the this API all right so now let's uh, look on the code which we already done so we already call a API on you can say that on uh, load of this space because uh, whenever we will just visit first page this use effect hook is called only for one time and data is set in the users state and this user state we are using here a map function and uh, this is plotting in a this html table with these are the headers and this actually result we have and here you can see that the complete result so id we don't have here id the reason is uh, actually i just uh, change this user id key with the id right and here you can see that we have now id here right and now we have the ID in this column also all right so now let's add here delete button and uh, then we will call a function on at this delete button click and uh, make a delete API call and after that uh, we will check that everything is working fine I will provide you the answer of my previous videos question as well as I will ask one more question and this is my Instagram account you can ask me question on this Instagram account as well as in a comment box also all right so let's uh, add here a delete button so let's add a td button and just simply write here delete right here you can see that we have a delete button you can uh, just add some css here because uh, this is not uh, looking good but i'm not going to add here css because this is not a style video this is a logical video right and uh, for header even you can uh, add here like operations even we can use here uh, delete operations update operation in the upcoming videos so I'm just going to make a generic word here operations so let's call a function on this delete button click so let's define our own click and let's say we will make a function with the name of delete user right and uh, in this uh, delete function we will pass our id because how we good to get to know that which id we have to delete right uh, so that we must have to pass your id so just write here item dot id and now let's define the function that's why we have added here because we did not define this yet so let's define just uh, simply make here function delete user and uh, let's get here id like this and for a moment let's just try to alert here id so we can just get to know that id is working fine so whenever i will just click on a bruise which is id 3 then we will get alert with id 3 4 now 1 that's great so now let's call a api so for calling the api we must have to know the api's url so this is our api url right 
and how do you get to know your your project's uh, api url you can ask to your api developer right all right so now we have to pass here id also so how we can pass the id we can just simply use here plus id but uh, this is not a good way we can use here template in uh, template type so just use here backpick because this is a modern way and we have to call only one backpick here right now this is perfect and let's add here dollar and now put here id this id will coming in uh, function parameter all right so now let's provide a second parameter to this uh, fetch function and let's uh, just define here method only just define a method method can be like a delete and that's it now we just need to get here result for that let's use a then and as you know we use this then for uh, promise handling to resolve the promise so just get here a result but as you know result again provide a stream result so let's convert this to a json and again use then i just need to use here then like this and uh, let's just get here uh, some parameter like resp and uh, you can just uh, console dot warn it if you want to check your result everything is perfectly fine whenever you will just hit the button now your data will be deleted but there will be one problem you have to refresh your page after deleting record because uh this page did not know that this table did not know that the result is actually deleted so we have to again call this api to check the latest data but first of all we will let's delete uh, in a simple way then i will show you that uh, how we can do it without manual refresh also as you can see we have a five result here right everything is fine let's uh, just delete a record number four and here you can see that two requests are sent to the server one is a optional request you can see that and uh, this is basically for check that uh, server is working fine or not and second one result is delete here you can see that this is the delete uh, request and this is the url that we sent to him uh, and this is the result because uh, we are deleting the record so we don't need to any result here so and you can see that we have all results but we need to refresh it because data need to update here and now you can see that one two three and five and this record is deleted from this api also all right that's great but how we can just uh, reload the uh, same time because we don't want to refresh it manually for that what you can do just get this uh, fetch function inside a uh, another method like uh, get users right and uh, just uh, make a function to it and now let's call this function at a first time get users as well as whenever our delete api is done then we can call it again right like this now let's whenever we will delete our uh, four api will be called here you will see that whenever i will just click delete a third record then you can see that all right because uh, we already sent a optional result so th there will be three because option request will be gone up one time then this is a delete and this is our get and here you can see that our record is deleted and uh, rendered automatically and this result is deleted from here also let's try to delete fifth result also and this is working great so this is the way that how we can delete a user and uh, reload it manually without a refreshing man uh, re reload it automatically without refreshing it manually right okay so in last video i asked that can we send some body part with the get method no we cannot send and uh, my another question for the next video is uh, uh, in this video we use a delete method for delete the record can we use post method put method or get method for delete record from api you can comment the answer of 
this question in a comment box and thanks for watching this video